Hello everyone, welcome to another ClickFunnels 2.0 tutorial. In today's video I would like to show you how you can add an order bump to your order form so you can offer extra products that your customers can easily add to their order. If you use ClickFunnels 1.0 you may know that there we had a separate element called order bump that you could just add to your order form. And if you check the help center article about adding an order bump element to ClickFunnels 2.0 you may see that they're also using an order bump element. However, at the moment of recording ClickFunnels 2.0 editor does not have this element. If we go to the order section of the elements, you see that there are only confirmation, order summary and checkout element, but there is no order bump element. That's why we are going to use the checkout element to add order bumps in ClickFunnels 2.0. But before we do that, let's connect the products to our funnel that we are going to use as the order bump products. I already have a few products created that I can add to my funnel. And if you don't know how to create products in ClickFunnels yet, you can check out the video that you will see in the card up here. And we are going to connect two products and use them as order bumps on our order form. Unlike in ClickFunnels 1.0, you can easily add multiple order bumps, also add images of the products as you may see here, and customize the look of the order bump. To connect the products to our order bump, we need to go to the funnel step where we want to connect those products. Then you either click this icon or open this menu and click Add Product. Click Add Product. And the set, we are going to select our order bump product number one. And then order bump product number two. Right now, they are attached as main products. And because we want to use them as order bump products, we just drag them to this order bump section at the bottom. And just like that, ClickFunnels 2.0 knows that we want to use these products as order bump products. And what's left to do is to adjust the settings and also customize the look of our order bumps in the funnel editor. But before we do that, if you don't have a ClickFunnels 2.0 account, you can find links to a free trial in the description of this video. There are two options, a regular 14-day trial and an extended 30-day trial. It's all explained in the description, the difference and how you get those, and in any case, if you use our link to get your ClickFunnels 2.0 trial, you will get our ClickFunnels 2.0 mastery course as a bonus to help you master this platform faster. And if you're already using ClickFunnels 2.0, in the description you will also find some package deals from ClickFunnels that will help you save a huge amount on your subscription. And now let's customize our order bumps. For that, open the order form. As mentioned, we need to use the checkout element because right now there are no order bump elements in ClickFunnels 2.0 editor. If you open the settings of the checkout element and then select one as number of steps, you will see that the checkout element actually has the component or the block that is dedicated to order bumps. And that's the block that we are going to use to customize our order bumps. If you have not used the checkout element in ClickFunnels 2.0 yet, it may be a bit confusing at the first glance, but don't worry, I will give you a short overview on how it works. So first of all, we have the navigation here. For example, if we click the order bump and then it opens for us the settings of the order bump, you can see it by the headline here. And if you want to go one level back, so to say, to the settings of the checkout, you can use the breadcrumbs here on top and then click checkout and that will bring you back to the settings of the checkout. If you don't want to use some elements, you can just hide them. For example, if I don't need the order summary, I can just click this icon and hide it from the checkout form. Now let's go back to the settings of the order bumps. Again, we need to click this block to open the settings for the order bumps. And as you can see, there are a lot of things that you can customize for the order bumps. We will not go over all of them because they work like any element in the page editor in ClickFunnels 2.0. But let's still customize our order bumps a bit so we see how they look in the end. So first of all, you can decrease or increase the top margin. So how much space you want between the payment information and the order bumps here. Then you can select a style for your order bump, classic, modern or cards. Cards would make them look like this and the classic style looks like this. We'll go with the modern and below we have the settings for the separate components of the order bump. If we click on the card settings, we can customize the look of the order bump card. If we want to go back, again use breadcrumbs and click order bump settings. And when you hover the settings of the component with a cursor, 
it's also highlighted on the left, so you see which element will be customized using these settings. Other bumps also have different states, unselected and selected. If a customer adds an order bump to their order, that will be a selected state and it looks slightly different and you can also customize the look. For example, we see that the border appears around our order bumps when it's in the selected state. You can also separately adjust the settings of the image and of the price element. For example, if I would want to increase the font size for our price, I would do it here. I said we will not go over all the settings, but I would like to make the images smaller and also change the color of the button. Let's do it. For that we would go to the image settings and decrease the space that the image is taking and with that the images are getting smaller and you also can decrease the image space for mobile devices. Going back to desktop and the set I would like to change the color of the button that we see here. For that we need to find the settings of the button. Here they are. Click select button the button has multiple states. First, it has the unselected and selected state and the text changes respectively add and edit if somebody adds the order bump product to their order. I would like to change the width of the button as well. Make it like this. And on top of that, the button has also additional states like default, what you see when you open the order form page, hover if you hover over the button, and press if you press on the button. I think that's quite straightforward. And for all of those states, you can also adjust the look of the button. Let's do it for the default state. I would like to adjust the background color, make it something like this. And with that background color, I also need to adjust the color of the text to make it readable. Or maybe white. As with any button element, you can go even further and adjust the border, the corner, and the shadow, and so on. What I would also want to do is to increase the size of the product title. And for that, we need the section that is called bump headline. If I want to adjust the look of this line, it's the name of the product and the pricing. I can do it here in the settings of the checkout element. But if I want to adjust the content, I would need to do it in the settings of this specific product. I think you are getting the feeling of how it works and you will be able to do it to your liking. What's left to do for us is to test the changes that we made and see how our order bumps look on the order form. For that, save the changes and then you can preview the page. By the way, if you're already putting the finishing touches on your funnel, grab our funnel launch checklist in the description of this video to ensure that you don't miss any crucial steps for the launch and that the launch of your funnel goes smoothly. We see our order form and if we scroll down, you can see our order bump products with the adjustments that we made. Like, like for example, different background color for our button, different font size, smaller images, and so on. That's how easy you can add multiple order bump products with images and also customize the look of the order bump product card. If this video was helpful, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel for more useful videos about ClickFunnels 2.0 and funnels in general, and don't forget to grab your free ClickFunnels 2.0 trial and our funnel launch checklist in the description of this video. See you in other videos. Bye bye!